Hey guys, what's going on? Rich here, bringing you a video about my last five weeks of training. Uh, in this video, I'm going to document exactly what I had done and the results that I've gotten from it. I'm gonna show you the exact workouts. And I'm also gonna show you a little bit on the nutrition end as the goal of this phase was a, a muscle building phase. I'm gonna show you exactly kind of how that all played out. So if you missed the last video, it does lay out exactly what the plan was going through it. So I'm not gonna be that detailed in what the actual workouts were in this specific video. So if you wanna check that, check out that video, you can check it out right here. And then you can kind of get a, a caught up on, on where we are in training in general. Cool, so let's do it. All right, so overall, the, the goal of this phase was a muscle building phase while trying to continue to maintain some endurance. This is uh, the idea to train for Hyrox and for DecaFit in general. Coming out of Hyrox in Chicago, I was weighing about 168 pounds. I figured I should probably weigh about 180 or at least see what that's like and seeing how I can maintain my speed and endurance at that weight and then make a call on where I would be from there. So needed to gain weight. So the main part of this phase was to gain muscle, but also work on the aerobic system as well, because I didn't want to just shift completely away from, from it and have to kind of start all the way back up. I wanted to kind of do it uh, concurrently to see at what that process was like, because I've never necessarily done a, a straight up muscle building phase with a, a caloric surplus at the exact same time. So that was really the idea behind this. So the workouts for this specific phase were based around hypertrophy and they needed to be in that hypertrophy rep range. So the workouts were incredibly simple, especially on the strength end of things. So you can see here that the workouts were basically the same over and over. And the way I kind of laid it out, I did two real strength workouts per week. And uh, because I just figured that would be the the most that I could potentially handle while doing other cardio work. And since I haven't done a uh, hypertrophy phase that much in the past, the volume I feel like would have been really difficult. And I was right on that. Two was enough. Three would have been too much. I needed that much recovery. So they kind of sat on Monday and on Friday. Those were my, my strength workouts. So, and again, the workouts themselves, it was just working in three, three, two to three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And then the back squat was the big, part of it. It was a one set of 20 rep back squat and you're supposed to try to add weight every single workout. So five pounds uh, every workout. So 10 pounds per week. So let's kind of start there. Here is a look at my progression when it came to that 20 rep back squat. So in general, my back squat, my best ever back squat is about 305 and that was several years ago. So I haven't really put too much emphasis on back squatting since uh, kind of pivoting into OCR specifically, but now coming out of that and moving into more of the hybrid racing, it's gonna be something I want to put more of a focus on because it is a great exercise for muscle building. It's gonna translate very well to things like uh, the sleds and the wall balls and just being able to move heavy weight under fatigue. So this is really what I was trying to get out of the, the back squats themselves. So it was a learning phase for sure. Um, and you can see here, here is my progression. So starting at the bottom is where uh, was the, the first week um, was June 29th and we ended about a month later. So this was, it was five weeks or so of training. I planned to do six, but as I'll get into, it was just ended up being a little bit much and um, it kind of shut myself down uh, that final week. So um, that first week was too light. I started at 195 and did 25 reps of it because it was too light. And then I was able to kind of go up 10 pounds. So I started at 205 where it started to really kind of feel hard. And you can see it did just go in a linear fashion all the way up to 25. That was a huge point for me where getting 20 reps at 225, I remember doing 10 reps at 225 in a previous phase and being very, very hard and I hated every second of it. So getting 20 was very encouraging, <laughs> very encouraging to say the least. Um, then the everything after 225 was really, really hard and a big time struggle, but a huge confidence builder as I went forward. So this was really awesome that I was able to kind of put on f five pounds every single time and continue to do it. Now, now with this is this, it's not a, uh, the, it's not an explosive 20 reps. It's a, a very much a grind of 20 reps. So it's like a lot of breathing at the top and, and squatting down. So you're just, you're just loaded for a long time, not necessarily moving in that. So after about mm, 
10 to 12, it's really a slow go. And a total of these 20 reps were taking me any for two minutes to two and a half minutes to get through it all. So basically this thing worked. It was really, uh, it was really hard. <laughs> I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. I didn't, I really didn't hate it. And it was, it was really encouraging to see the weight go up every single time. And a uh, 20 rep back squat doesn't necessarily um, translate well to like a one rep max. It's, it's not, a, you can't really equate it out. You kind of, that kind of stops at like 12 to 12 reps or so. And that that's where you can kind of project out into what a one rep is going to be. But with this, uh, even if 245 being a, a 10 rep max projects to be about 325 for a one rep. So if that is holds true, that would be awesome. And that would definitely be a PR. So I would have added weight to my one rep, but this isn't about one rep maxness. It's about just getting stronger in general. And you could see here that there was definitely strength gained on the back squat. And I'll quickly take you through two of the other ones that two of the other movements that we had gone through was shoulder press and bench press. So shoulder press is a very weak movement of mine. Uh, I started at two at one Oh five and it was hard. And then, uh, yeah, you can see even on that first one, I did 105 and it was too heavy. So the next one I did one, uh, 100. Um, so, and then I was able to then eventually start stacking weight on and ended up at 10 reps, uh, three by 10 at 120, which was really helpful, uh, for me to see. I've done five by five programs before and been at 115 and that's been a struggle. So doing 120 for 10 is, uh, is awesome. I'm really happy to, to see that. And that's, that's pretty cool. And it's pretty good volume on that as well. Uh, bench press as well. Also not a, uh, strength of mine. I started at 155 for sets of 12 on this and then was able to move up to 170. So even 15 pounds on a 12 rep, three by 12, um, is pretty, pretty exciting for me to see. Um, I haven't gotten under the bar uh, on a bench in a long time. So I was able to kind of play around with form a little bit. And I think that helped as well. Again, this isn't an apples to apples comparison when it comes to how it's going to translate to an obstacle course race or a hybrid race, but it's good to see that I was getting stronger. So basically the strength stuff, it worked. <laughs> it was just the same workout twice a week for five weeks and nothing exciting. It's just straight up hypertrophy work, making sure I was rested, making sure I was eating, making sure I was getting all of the appropriate work and that I needed to do so that I got stronger and it worked. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, I must say it was boring. It was really, after about three weeks, I was like, okay, this just isn't that fun. Um, but that's not the goal either. It's There's time and a place for fun workouts and it's not within every single strength workout that comes along. So I was able to just suck it up and do this and just knock it out that way. So uh, I don't want to touch too much on the running piece of things. I just was able to kind of build a little bit of volume running anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes, um, three to four days a week, and then doing a lot more work on the rower. So I still was doing more aerobic work than any other type of work. Uh, than, than strength work. So that was still the crux of everything on the program was doing slow, low end aerobic work and doing most of my, my intensity work on the rower. Uh, that's where I spent most of my time uh, working at that high end rep range. So I am going to test a 5k leading into the next phase to see where I am on that end and start to kind of tweak things. But the running wasn't as important on this, but I do want to talk about the weight gain part of this, because like I said, I was about 168 going into this. And I wanted to gain weight um, to get a little bit bigger. So here is my progress um, that I was weighing and measuring every single day. I do want to go off of the 10 day weight trend. Um, as you see, I was able to really kind of make a jump um, pretty early and it was pretty linear going up. Um, you can see even over here, it's like I was weighing 172, 173 within the first two or three weeks um, and was able to continue that pretty consistently all the way through where I'm about 174 right now um, at a 10-day average starting at so about a little like a month and a half from 169 to 174, so about five pounds of weight there. Uh, I'm gonna say this isn't all muscle for sure. It doesn't feel like all muscle. It doesn't feel bad, but it definitely is def uh, a little bit of, of fat that is coming on here as well. 
But again, this is about strength and showing you the the numbers in the pat the numbers on the on the strength end of things, and then the scale here. Like things are working. I don't necessarily care about like body fat percentage right now. I don't care that uh, like what these metrics say where I'm gaining or losing. I just want to gain weight and lift a little bit heavier, and that's exactly what's been happening. So I'm gonna kind of keep sticking to this and keeping that moving forward. So I did have a request in that previous video that again, you can see right here. I did uh, talk about the actual numbers and what I was trying to hit here, and some of them are pretty big. It was somewhere anywhere between like 3,700 and 4,400 calories per day. So if you want to see some type of a uh, typical day of eating, uh, hit me with a like or drop a comment below. Just let me know if that's something that would be interesting to you. I don't know if it is, but if it is, I'll be happy to show you because it, again, it's basically the same as uh, the the strength workouts. Real simple, no frills, just volume. Volume, volume, volume is what this has been all about this entire phase here. So I'm gonna kind of keep pushing this forward and hopefully by, and I'm a little ahead. So I, I got a little ahead here. Again, that's uh, this is the, the projected pace without putting on too much fat, but again, I'm a little ahead of it. So it, it's fair to say that there is some the, some fat coming on, but it, things have slowed in the past um, week and a half or so. So I think I'm on a, a more steady trajectory moving up into that phase. So it should be about 180 coming in, into October, uh, which would be awesome. So overall, this was a, a really successful strength building phase for me into a muscle building phase for me and it's something that i will return to at some point not now after just doing five weeks of it i can't necessarily even think about when i would want to do something like this again i might need some time to wrap my head around what it feels like to do other uh strength training uh before i go into uh the idea of going back to this like 20 rep back squat because it was uh exhausting it was a little bit boring um but it worked but it worked. And again, some of these movements, they weren't very specific. They weren't specific at all for any of the things that I'm going to be training for, but there's time to layer in specific workouts moving forward, right? So this is like the long view of things, taking a step back and looking at what it looks like long term. It's like I have time now and what I need to do is gain weight and get stronger. So I need to do the things that are going to make me that and those aren't necessarily the same things that are going to make me good at deck of that aren't going to make me good at high rocks but being able to split them and commit to the process of getting stronger and then commit to the process of getting better at high rocks and deck of fit and then kind of cycling that and repeating it that's the idea going forward instead of trying to get stronger and staying and getting faster and and getting better at deck of fit and high rocks like doing all these things at the same time just like doesn't work it just doesn't work so doing one thing at a time and building it out slowly is, is where I'm at right now. So I uh, hope this was helpful. Again, uh, hit me with a like, hit me with a comment below if you want to see some of the nutrition end of things. I'm going to be bringing some specific workouts for the next phases uh, your way in the next couple of weeks. So I hope this is helpful for you, and I'll talk to you soon.